All right, I've got the doors all prepped. They're just scuffed, that's all they needed. Still have to tape off all this. Same with that door. That rod actually keeps popping out, which speaking of that, I'm trying to figure out what kind of clip goes in here to hold that. Just feels like something pushes in there. I'll have to find one. Um, Cause that door don't open from the inside cause that clip keeps popping out. Uh, yeah, but I'm done for today. It's like 2.30, gotta go to work soon. It is an otherwise beautiful day outside. The old 305's under there. There's my front clip, and it's about time to paint. I spent yesterday taping off the windows and the doors to the point where I can spray them because these are silver doors somebody had put on here but you can see I plastic off just the window area but now I need to tape the black molding or whatever you want to call it uh, and those will get sprayed today I need to kind of tape off where when I open the door when time comes to spray the doors and I gotta spray in here I need to make sure I can't get any overspray onto my dash or anything. But, yeah, I always, that's the one thing I always hated about this truck when I got it. I was like, I can't stand these silver inside doors. So, I'm going to fix them. I am going to put some sound deadener uh, back in the hole here. And I also have some baffle cups. I don't know where they're at right now because I have 10 million bajillion parts everywhere but uh, that's gonna get done today and then I'll be done out here for I'm definitely leaving it for at least a day before I come back out and then when I do come back out I'm probably going to work on the steering columns and getting this place clean but I'll get back to it here the firewall is all ready now how I'm going to do this is I'm going to actually scuff my primer back because it's got a little, actually it don't, but it does. It has a little bit of a rough texture just because it's canned primer. I'm going to scuff it, then blow it off and seal it. Now I have can sealer too, over there, right there. So I'm going to seal it with can, which a lot of it I'm not going to actually seal like inside the heater box that ain't gonna matter but I'm definitely sealing everything up here and you know one can should probably do the whole trick I have wax and grease remover so I can wipe all this stuff out now what I'm gonna do when I have the plastic over here is I'm just gonna sort of flick the paint, you know, I'm not going to the top. I'm just going to flick it and try to blend it in. Not hitting any of the outside of the doors. Same on the other side where it goes, you know, way up here. I'm going to... Same up there. And I'm going all that. And then after it does dry, right there at that body line, that bottom body line, I'm going to tape it off and cover everything up there to paint the frame and everything I have to pull it out and uh, clean it and everything still all this will get new blue all in here and the doors other than that there's really nothing else on the truck that has to be painted besides the hood I keep forgetting about the hood inside of the hood will go black top of the hood will go the same blue hopefully it matches close enough which actually now that I remember uh, Scott was out here the other day and we put a dot on the body somewhere can you find it it's actually right here which you cannot see it at all Right there you can, I mean just a tad, but, but you know, no biggie. Clean that off, 
It's close though. I mean like super close. So I am going to get at it and get that scuffing done. Get these doors taped the rest of the way and we'll paint it. So I've got it all painted today earlier. It is already dry. I do have some light spots that I want to hit again. Mainly like this edge here. It's a little too dry for me. Actually there's going to be a fender over that but here's a little too dry for me. Everything else though is really nice. Like really nice and shiny. Actually it looks better than the body does. Which is a problem because right here where I was going to blend it in is like shiny flat. I guess I could scuff it a little bit. So, well, actually, the truck's going to get clear coated. So, let me see something here. Oh, crap. Yeah, when I clear coat it, it'll probably all turn out fine and dandy. But other than that, it looks phenomenal. Now, the doors, eh, I'm going to have to hit them again. Because, first thing you see right here, it didn't. I don't know what that's all about. It's, I prep wiped it and everything, but it fish eyed a lot in spots. I've got light there, so yeah, I'm gonna have to scuff them, sand them, do another wax and grease. But other than that, it looks good. That one looks good. But it's a lot better than being silver everywhere. So, and it is a couple of shades darker but there's a lot of things that's gonna hide you know same with the front a lot of things that'll hide other than that though it looks fan friggin tastic you can see a little dry spray there so do it again coat it all again hit this again i missed that the first time but it is pretty good. I have to get up in here too. Down through. But other than that, it looks pretty good.